Hi again, and welcome back to your live English language learning program. Alice has a lot of admirers, doesn't she, girls? How does she do it? Now, I want to do an exercise with you to help you practice recognizing past tense verbs. Okay, so I'm going to become a newsreader. I'm going to read you the nine o'clock news in English, and I will use about 22 verbs in the past. I want you to listen carefully and try and recognize as many as you can. All right, so let me get in position. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay. Good evening, and here's the nine o'clock news. Yesterday, 10,000 people left their workplace and went into the streets of London to protest against the government's new labor law. The police sent out special forces to control the crowds and arrested 15 people. A Bengali tiger escaped from London Zoo yesterday morning. It went to Covent Garden and drank and ate everything in its path. The zookeepers found it in the garden of a pub and took it safely back to the zoo. Prince Charles had an accident yesterday playing polo. They took him into the hospital in Scotland where they did a minor operation on his leg. When he spoke to the press this morning, he said that he felt fine. And now rugby. This afternoon, England played Italy at Twickenham and Italy lost by three points. The Italian captain broke his leg. The English captain said the game was close and that the Italians played very well. That's all for me. Good night. <laughs> so, how many verbs did you get? 10, 15, 20, 22? All right, let's go and check them on the board now, together. So, we started with, good evening, here's the nine o'clock news. Yesterday, 10,000 people left their workplace. Left is the past tense of leave. Good. And went into the streets of London, went, past tense of go. Right. To protest against the government's new labor law. Then. The police sent out special forces, sent, past tense of send, to control the crowds and arrested, which is the past tense of arrest, it's a regular verb, arrested 15 people. Okay? How many so far? Okay. A Bengali tiger escaped from London, regular verb, escaped from escape. Um, it went to Covent Garden Market, went, past tense of go, and drank and ate. Drank, past tense of drink, ate, past tense of eat. The zookeepers found it in the garden of a pub, found, past tense of find, good, and took it safely back. Took, difficult, took, past tense of take, take, Took. Okay. Prince Charles had an accident. Had is the past tense of have. They took him, took him, you know, past tense of take, to a hospital in Scotland where they did a minor operation. Did, past tense of do. Yeah. When he spoke to the press, spoke is the past tense of speak, he said past tense of say, that he felt fine, felt past tense of feel, great. Rugby, this afternoon England played, past tense of play, Italy at Twickenham and Italy lost, lost is the past tense of lose, okay, lose. The Italian captain broke his leg, broke, past tense of break, 
The English captain said, past tense of say, we saw, the game was close. Was is the past tense of, yeah, the verb to be. And that the Italians played very well. Play, a regular verb, past tense of play, play, played. Okay? Well done. How many did you get? 22? 20? 18? 19? I know it's difficult at the beginning. And in fact, that is often one of the most difficult things is recognizing English pronunciation. That's why it's very important for you to learn good pronunciation at the beginning because it will really help your comprehension. So, take care and I'll see you in the next lesson for more practice. Bye.